Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie. And today, oh, today's gonna be fun. I'm so excited. Um, I love steampunk and I love ocean creatures. So today is gonna be a fun Bible journaling tutorial today. So stay tuned for it. It's gonna be so much fun. I bought these in a haul I shared with you a couple of weeks ago and I am just so excited to use them. I haven't used them yet. I decided to wait for you guys and share with you all. And then we'll, we will also be using some Distress Ink, which I don't think I have used in Bible journaling yet. So this is new for me and this is new for you. <laughs> Unless you have already used it. If you have, feel free to leave a comment and share if you have. And if it turned out really nice or if it was an accident, then you know, accidents sometimes turn out absolutely beautiful. As long as we do it for the Lord, that's all that matters. So today, we I will be using my Psalms and Proverbs illustrating book. It's just Psalms and Proverbs. So I'm going to go ahead and find the verse that I wanted to use for today. God pointed me to it. I, had, I looked up verses. Sometimes God gives me, most of the time, God gives me an idea before he gives me the verse. If that makes sense. <laughs> um, like, he'll show me like the octopus and think I'm thinking steampunk and like just vintage style. And then like I'll know that I want to use a, like an ocean verse or something that has to do with creatures from the ocean. And God will help me find the verse that he wants me to use. So today is in Psalms. Again, just like last week, we're in Psalms again. This one actually says Psalm instead of Psalms with an S. But either way you pronounce it, I think it's totally fine. So today, if I can find the verse that we're in. Okay, so it is verse 24 through 26. I love how big the wording is in this book, much better than the bigger Bible that they have with all the books of the Bible. So I wish they really came with like a, like a, like a large print version. I would definitely get it. <laughs> so Psalms 104 Verse 24 through 26, it says, How many are your works, Lord? In wisdom you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea, vast and spacious, teeming with creatures beyond number, living things both large and small. There the ships go to and fro, and Leviathan which you form to frog there. So I love that verse. We don't know what the Leviathan is. I mean, it could have been, it could have been the old pirate term for Kraken. I mean, you know, it doesn't really say what the Leviathan is. So kind of a cool verse that is, and it's definitely in the ocean. So definitely cool. We're going to be using these fun, uh, new clear stamps. And these are layering stamps. I didn't even know that until I got it. So I'm very excited to use these. Very, very excited. I have not used these yet. These are new to me. I've never heard of these types of stamps before. And I lost my the colors I'm using today are Vintage Photo and Walnut Stain. So those are the ones that I'm using. I love them both. They're fairly easy to use. You just rub it in and then you do very light circles. Now, I'm not going to start at the edges only because I'm worried that <laughs> it's going to go over. So let's put a paper underneath that. Always put paper underneath just in case. So you can go from the outer edges. I am not the world's greatest stamper. I try my best, but I always end up with little circles. So I am just going to go ahead and give it a little bit of distress looking. And actually, you know, I'm actually kind of liking the circleness because if you think about it, octopus have little suckers and stuff like that. And I think it actually kind of looks like that. So I know what, I'm gonna actually make circles. I think it's actually gonna look kind of cool. It's gonna look very steampunk. You know, I'm, I need to practice with my um, not doing that, but I think that 
for now, I think the circles are actually going to go to my benefits. So I'm actually going to go ahead and create circles. I think it's going to actually come out really cool. And you can put as much on as you want. I'm not going to put a lot. And what I like about Distress Ink is you can put it over the words and you can still read it. I can still read what's underneath, etc. So I'm happy about that. I'm just going to put my paper, flip it around, just so I can get the bottom here. It's making squeaky noises. I think that's my fault. <laughs> And now I'm going to try to do a little lighter going into the center here because practice my motion. I'm going to try to get a little bit lighter. See, I don't know if it's the, the um, actual like pad that I'm using because for some reason it's still creating circles even though I try really softly and I start from the outer edges. So I think I'm going to get new pads. I'm not liking these ones at all. <laughs> That's okay. And I'm kind of liking these circles because it kind of, it does give off that like kind of more of an octopus feel to it with all the suckers. So I like that. I'm very excited about. So when you're using these, you use the complete color block one, which is this one first, and then you overlay it with the detailed one. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this. Just to make sure I'm doing it correctly. These are the stickiest stamps I've ever used in my life. Wow. You really wanna make sure they stay in there, don't they? Wow, that's really sticky. <laughs> which is a good thing, but. That was really sticky. Okay, so you want to stick it onto your clear acrylic block, which you don't need to buy these if you have like a um, what was it gonna say? A I wonder if I'm putting this on right. I think I am. Yeah. Um, you can use a clear CD case to do that, and it would stick on this line. Okay, so I was gonna use this grayish color first. And hopefully get in as much color as I can. I may test it out first just to make sure that the color is really going on well. But this one, this one doesn't have to be perfect because it is going to go underneath the other color. So you just want to make sure you get every spot you can when you're stamping. You want to make sure you cover it completely every which way you can. Okay. So we're just going to stamp it where we wanted to. And I like acrylic blocks because you can see through them. If you haven't used them, they're really cool. I think, let's see, where should we put it? I'm thinking um, of putting words at the top just to kind of give it even more semblance to the verse. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it at the bottom just so I have room up here to create the verse. So I think I'm going to put it right here. And then you just want to wiggle it around, make sure you get every edge. Ooh, I'm liking it. <laughs> it's got a gray feel right now, but it won't in a second as soon as I use the other one. It's going to be really hard to get off because it's so sticky. So I think this is the most stickiest stamp I've ever seen, which is a good thing because it doesn't come off, but <laughs> I have never seen such a sticky stamp in my life. Wow. I mean, I guess that's a good thing, so it doesn't come off your stamping block, but it really sticks on there like glue, that's for sure. Okay. So I've got my other color. We're going to do black, just so it stands out. Just make sure I get all the corners and everything. Make sure I get all 
of the crevices. You don't want any crevices sticking out. I did miss part of his leg, but I think that's my fault because I didn't um, press down hard enough on the bottom. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hopefully layer this over. Let me see the back of this really quick and see if I'm doing this correctly. Okay. Just wondering if I'm layering it correctly, but I think I am. Right about there. And hopefully it'll work. Please, Lord. <laughs> and we're going to stick it on there and pull up. Oh, wow. Okay. It worked better than I thought. I think I'm going to need a little bit of practice with like this one leg over here, but I think it turned out really, really cool. I'm liking it. I actually may do another octopus on this page because I think he's lonely. But that's how it turned out. It turned out really, 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 really cool. I think I will have to tilt it a little bit more like this spot. But it's a good first practice. I've never used this detail one before. So I'm liking it. And I think I'm going to put another one up at top. So that way it kind of has like another octopus kind of hanging around with his buddy. So I'm going to take off this All right, so I'm liking this page already. I think it's really cool. It's really, 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 really different from, I think, anything that I have done before. So very excited about that. Um, wow. I think the coral will add a cool, um, cool dimension to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on there. And I think I'm going to use... Let's see. I was wondering if I should use the brown stamp. I'm wondering if it's going to be too, too brown. Or like not like that really pretty coppery color. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and use the gray that was with the, the octopus. I think it's going to be a nice color. Yeah, I like that. Definitely an, just an extra touch to the picture, which I think is going to look really nice. I know, from this page, this is definitely something completely different from what I normally do. So, 
I was very excited though, actually, to do something so different. So I am totally in love with this page. Like, if I could do it over again, I would because I love this page <laughs> so much. Like, it turned out so nice. I love that God gave me, like, I was going to put the whole verse, but I thought, no, it's, I don't think it's going to fit because it's just too much. So I think teaming with creatures, it kind of gives it that, like, creepy, you don't know what's down there type of vibes because you don't know. <laughs> you really don't know um, what's down there. So it gets kind of those creepy, you don't know what, what's down there feelings. Because they keep, like, finding new creatures. Like, God is incredible. Like, I don't know if he just still creates new creatures. or They're just really hard to find. But I love this page. I love how the background looks like, like the octopus suckers. Like, it looks cool. I'm very happy. Better than I thought it would. So... I'm going to stamp this with the date. I'm going to make it a thing now where we always stamp together our finished projects. I'm going to, I think that's a thing we need to do. So I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to do worship. And then this is like, well, technically I did this page way in advance. <laughs> like way, 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 way in advance. This is probably like two weeks in advance. Oh no, it's today's. That's right. Today's is this one. I'm sorry. I did two Bible journaling videos, one for each week. So next week's, I kind of stamped ahead of time. So don't pay attention to that video. <laughs> so today's is, today's is correct. So let's go ahead and stamp it. Nice and fun. I love this stamp. I love that you can just stamp it up and ink the date you did it. So I'm going to stamp it. Let's see. I think I'm going to put it. I don't think. No, it's not going to fit in that corner. I'll do it in this corner. Perfect. And it has the stamp of what we did today with the word worship on it. So I love it. I think it turned out super duper cool. Like this is probably the, one of the coolest ones I've done. I'm so happy with it. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below if you want to see like more kind of just distressed ink vintage style pages. I'm starting to really like them. So I might do I might do a few pages of those and like the fall with like fall colors. We'll do some fun stuff together. So I'll come up with a lot more fun things in the near future. So please don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful and blessed day and I will see you all in the next video.